35 countries are given crucial support from the use of naval and air bases to help with intelligence and logistics to the deployment of combat units. Every nation in this coalition has chosen to bear the duty and share the honor of serving in our common defense. To all the men and women of the United States Armed Forces now in the Middle East, the peace of a troubled world and the hopes of an oppressed people now depend on you. That trust is well placed. The enemies you confront will come to know your skill and bravery. The people you liberate will witness the honorable and decent spirit of the American military. America faces an enemy who has no regard for conventions of war or rules of morality.
for the better return and greater glory. The principle that will justify the training of wholesale murderers. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men. Machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. Only the unloved hate. The unloved and the unnatural. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, The kingdom of God is within man. Not one man, nor a group of men. But in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful. To make this life a wonderful adventure. Let us fight for a new world. A decent world that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed. The hate of men will pass, and dictators die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Serious conditions.